At 32 feet, 10 inches long, roughly 8,800 pounds dry, this brand new mid-bunk fifth wheel will sleep, eh, depending on the configuration and how big the people are, up to 10. Check out the Keystone Cougar Half Ton 29 MBS. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing in the back of the all-new 2021 Keystone Cougar 29 MBS. Half ton, fifth wheel, roughly 8,800 pounds dry. And on the front end, I said, depending on the configuration and how big they are, this one could sleep up to 10 people. Uh, the configuration meaning, are you gonna have the jackknife sofa or the theater seats inside the slide? We'll get to that here in a minute. But this one, brand new for 21. I like what they've done. They've answered the mid bunk room, larger fifth wheels with one that's a little bit smaller and lighter. At 32 feet, 10 inches long, not big at all, but plenty of space, just a little tight right there in the living room in between the entertainment center and the slide. But over here on the off camp side, you'll see rear wall dominated by the kitchen. We got the 21 inch Furion range and cooktop with the glass cover and grill style great with the little accent lights. You got the 16 inch oven right there. I like how they got the press surface countertop in here too with the raised cabinetry, the rustic look appearance on these shaker style cabinets with the brushed nickel fixtures all the way around. I mean, giving you good maximization of the space and storage options, hideaway hinges, residential feel, residential quality, flush mounted graystone microwave right here, solid wood construction with the full extension on the ball bearing drives here on the drawers. You're gonna notice that all the way throughout. Got my little spice rack right there, frosted glass inlay and in my storage shelves right here. And I loved the residential niche that they put right here. You got the bevel, the solid wood balance with the decorative padding on it from our rear window, the stainless steel undermounted sink with the high rise chef faucet and sprayer like that, dual USB charging. I got myself a little dimmer right here to cut on the lights. This is the accent light back here, plus GFCI outlet, dual USB charging, and plenty of storage. You got the Hyperdeck flooring in these as well, which is that polypropylene laminated fiberglass. Just does a really good job of keeping the moisture out. And speaking of moisture, can you hear the Coleman Mach 15K BTU AC? This is a quiet running AC and it's ducted using the blade ducting system, which kicks out that air about 30% more effectively. We also have a 35K BTU furnace in this one and a fireplace, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute. 10.4 cubic foot Norco 12 volt fridge freezer combo, which also has the running option. You hit that, what that does, that cut the compressor power in half so that your friends can sleep at night a little bit quieter. A little hard to reach storage door up there, you know, it's, I say hard to reach, it's only if you're tall. I'm six foot two, so, you know, just gotta reach for it. Pantry space, right there. Just love the rustic look and feel of this. The light cabinetry, that residential style with the dark pressed countertop, just looks good. Come over here to the carpetless super slide where we have our booth dinette, solid wood paneling on the back, plus you got storage there underneath both sides all surrounded by large panoramic windows with the day and night shades. You actually got blackout shades inside these areas right here and the bedroom so that if you wanna sleep at night, you can. Extra tall slides too, almost six feet of height right here, uh, but still good head clearance for a mid-profile fifth wheel, very nice. Quality construction, which is Keystone's calling card. One of the reasons why these have been the top selling mid-profile fifth wheels for 20 years. Just the quality, the touch, all the amenities. 4G LTE Wi-Fi prep. I mean, just look, it, it's a home. Temperature rated from zero to 110 degrees with all the insulation that we have going around. This is a true three season coach, in my opinion. Residential style entertainment center here. Love the molding that we have on top. Frosted glass inlay right there. Not a whole lot you could store in here because it's only about that deep uh, on the storage shelf. But uh, you know, hey, board games, hats, you know, billabong canopies, whatever you want to put in there. You got the large HD LED TV, some little component shelf. Now this is where I'd store the Girl Scout cookies. That's a perfect spot for those right there. Plus you got your Furion AM FM command center with Bluetooth, DVD, HDMI, plus it's dual zone. Right above my 5500 BTU electric fireplace 
with multi-flame setting, multi-light settings. If somebody's sleeping in here, like if I'm on my Allure comfortable pillow top chair recliners here with massage and heat, I kick these things back. I got this window open letting that cross breeze come in and all of a sudden that fireplace kicks on and before you know it, I'm dreaming of Puff the Magic Dragon all night long. Love it. And this is also what I was talking about with the configuration. Because if you have the jackknife sofa here or the sleeper sofa, you could easily get two people there. One there, two there. But the thing that makes this 29 MBS so awesome, check me out. You got yourself what I like to call the in-law suite. Got a strut supported bunk on top with a 300 pound max capacity there. Raise that up, you got the tri-fold sleeper sofa, which when you pull it out, does extend all the way over. So, you know, once this is out, there's really no getting in or out of here. It's just gonna be a tight fit. But still, plenty of entertaining space. Little spot right here with dual USB charging and power. So if you want to set up, you know, your laptop or whatever, make a little workspace. Got good storage in here as well. Got storage underneath. Got a TV backer with your key TV multi-source connection there and plenty of ward and storage space right here. Very nice little extra room, extra bedroom. Or, you know, it's an in-law suite. You got the kids uh, game room you can make out of this. Just great. When you're ready to come in and get cleaned up, you don't want to track everything in here. You got the little bench seat to take your shoes off. Dual USB charging and power right there. Plus hangers and some storage up top. Just really maximizing the space. I mean, that's, that's really the only negative to this one that I saw was kind of the perception of the tight fit coming from the entry point to the kitchen in the rear. But other than that, I mean, you still get by it. Pre-lit stairs coming up. You got your generation three in command system here, which you can control from your cell phone. Cut on the HVAC, run the slides out, run the awning. I got me a high profile porcelain bowl with the foot flush right there. The undermounted vanity sink. Got the brush nickel faucet right there, the large medicine cabinet. Bob, I don't know if you can get in here and see that. Oh, bump, hit my head. A little bit tight for two grown men, but hey, a little bit of a raised lip there. Would like to see a bigger one, but I got my raised lip down there. Sorry, Bobby. Got my little vent and fan, my blade AC dumping it out, pocket door, hanger, some linen storage right here, but making it residential and beautiful. My shower surround with the bench seat, the corner notches, the brush nickel fixtures, and the skylight with that inlay just really does a good job of bringing in the light. Glass enclosure, I mean, this, this is residential. Uh, they, they built these so that you would have a premium luxury fifth wheel that is also potentially half ton towable. Coming to the master, you'll see I got my second AC rocking and rolling right there. Queen size bed here nestled into the slide. I got storage on both sides with my little nightstands, dual USB charging on both. Plus I got the little, yeah, I got the little door down here, Bobby, so we can do some storage. Got it right there. Would like to see some strut supporting right here, but that's okay. Frosted glass inlay, just making it look good. I got my wardrobe in its own slide right here. And you'll notice with these mid profile fifth wheels, and I'm 6'2", I'm walking all the way to the front cap. It's about here as to where I start getting cramped with the headroom. So if you're wondering what that's like, hopefully they'll give you a good example. LCD mounting bracket here, power and everything. And I got my drawers inside my wardrobe in its own slide. Really good job maximizing the space. Looks and looks like it might be a tight squeeze, but once you get in it, it's really not. Uh, this is this is a really good layout, and if you're looking for that mid-profile half-ton towable fifth wheel with a mid-bunk room, I'll tell you, man, this is, this is a good fit. We've seen it, some of the features here on the inside, but let's go take a peek at the outside. So here we are on the outside of the gorgeous 2021 Keystone Cougar Half Ton 29 MBS. Right away, you got that automotive grade painting on this molded front cap right here with the LED running lights. You got the Road Armor pin box right here with max turn technology plus rubberized absorption to keep that stopping from chucking and bucking. You got your little storage box down here with your full size spare tire right there. And you'll notice right underneath 
we have the LCI four-point leveling system. I'll show you a little bit more about that once we get around to, to the off-camp side. Over here on the, on the camp side, you'll notice we are pre-wired for the Furion side vision. Very good feature if you for additional safety and security. Talk to our service folks about that. Twin 30-pound LP tanks on this one as well. Really giving you some good LP if you want to go off the grid. Heated and enclosed underbelly as well as heated pass-through storage right here. You got key TV connection and power if you want to set up some outside entertainment. And with all of your storage doors, you do have the magnetic anti-slam on these with the covered hinges. The Solera power awnings, you got two on this one with LED light strips on both. Plus they have those gas struts to kind of help give them some suspension and strength and you can adjust the, the pitch on those as well. There's my external speakers. My solid mo ride step above steps leading me into the entry point right here with the extra large grab handle doubles as a door guard. And Bobby, I don't know if you can get under there or not and check out the tires, but you got those aluminum rims on those Dexter Easy Lube axles and you got the road armor suspension matching the pin box, just really good for absorbing that shock when going down the road because you want to make sure you have a good smooth ride. True fit slide, which is made to go into the space that it's built for. Plus you got additional seals around. The floor is also insulated in here. And when you have a true fit slide, it reduces the components used to move them in and out, which reduces things that can break. Sealed safety glass that's tinted all the way around as well. Got my two inch hitch right there. This one is already set up for backup camera. Plus you got those arch ceilings with the three inch rubber rain nozzles, keep the weather off the top of this RV and the slides. Solid mounted ladder. Here's my 50 amp plug right here. Aha, there's my terminations. Gray tank and black tank on this one. So you got 60, 60 and 30. 60 gallon fresh, 60 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. And there's your four x four sewer hose storage over there underneath as well. There's our 3.0 ground control, freshwater connection hidden behind the panel right there. There's my other termination right there. And you'll see the external command center. You got your shower connection, your winterization, your city water connection, black tank flush, as well as your tank controls and a porthole to kind of keep all of your connections secure. Battery disconnect, key TV connection with the satellite already pre-wired, and the 10 amp quick connect for to trickle charge those batteries. Now, I had mentioned about the ground control leveling system that we have on this one. Auto leveling, cut it on, hit the auto level, and boom, you're good to go. This makes camping so much easier when setting up and tearing down. Right here's my other 30, uh, 30 pound LP tank. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this right here, the info panel. You'll see the unloaded vehicle weight for this one, 8,800 pounds, gross vehicle weight, 11,000 pounds. With this one being 32 feet, 10 inches long, mid bunk, roughly 8,800 pounds dry. That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and Gander and you say, hey, what does that mean? Because here's what my truck can tow. Uh, is this right for me? But if your family looking for upgraded features and amenities, you want three season camping in a premium half ton fifth wheel, this Cougar's it, man. 29 MBS. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what'd you like about it, what'd you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed me watching, watching me bake in the sun, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Until then, come check out an RV, because they're beautiful and fun. I'll see you later.